everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I just want to have a very casual conversation with you about the brand new iPhone 15 series, in specific the one that I have here, that is the iPhone 15 Plus. Now to all my Android friends as well as previous iPhone generation users out there, uh, here's why I think the iPhone 15 actually makes the most sense. Now first and foremost, I want to talk a bit about the design at the back here because although it looks very similar to previous generations of iPhones, I'm sure you all have the same thought, but there's a lot of minor tweaks and changes to the back here that actually makes it even better or I would say super super nice to hold in hand today. Now I want to highlight the uh, smooth materials at the back. Hear that guys, this is a super smooth matte back panel guys that is really super comfortable to hold. You have to go to the stores and actually feel it to you know really get what I mean, but the entire build of an iPhone is just next level. Everything is built very nicely. You have that super premium and flagship feel in hand, which is what this phone is actually targeting. Now, secondly, guys, uh, if you just compare it to Android and you know the Android phones, sometimes you might notice that you know, those phones come with two years of software updates. I mean, you are lucky to get three or four years of software updates, but with the iPhone series, you will be able to get about four to five years, I would say, of iOS updates and that's actually very important because your phone will be able to last you even longer through the years so you don't really buy an iPhone to use it for one year I would say that most of my friends out there use it for at least two to three or four years so I think that's also a very strong point to consider the iPhone 15 um, moving on we should talk a bit about the price here the price is actually 4.4 to 4.8 K depending if you get the normal or the plus model here in Malaysia of course I wouldn't say that it is a cheap phone or an, a super affordable phone to get but if you consider it over over a long period of time, over a long term use, you will find that the price actually is you know, quite understandable. You can actually spend this kind of money to get something that lasts you a little longer than what you usually get. All right, so the fourth thing here, what I like about this phone is that, you know, obviously we have the type C port at the bottom and no, it is not just for charging. Just like the pro models, you can actually plug in all sorts of accessories. So what I have here is actually a one terabyte SSD, plug it into the iPhone 15. And you might notice that on the internet, people are saying that the speeds from the non-pro models are not as fast as the pro models but here's a test that I did earlier on and you could actually plug that into your iPhone 15 plus and you will be able to watch 4k videos without any buffering you can scrub through the, the timeline without any lags and I think that's actually great and good enough for basic transfer of files let's say you are a photographer you go out you shoot some photos you want to transfer your photos into your phone you can do that without any issues all right now the fifth point here I would say is actually all down to the display at the front let me just turn that on real quick now what you have here is the dynamic island which is now available on the iPhone 15s now you might think of this as just a notch at the top but the dynamic island which is designed by you know Apple and with their iOS and all that you will notice that this thing here is actually now very functional you can see a lot of data at a glance you can also tap on it to interact with it so I think it's a very clever use of space you know usually you have your camera cut out which doesn't do anything but with the dynamic island you can have a lot of information available to you at your fingertips which I think again is fantastic so those are my five points really about why the iPhone 15 plus here is uh, something Thing that you should consider now uh, this is not a review a full review i'm not going to talk about the specs and all that you guys know that whenever you buy an iphone it's going to be smooth and fast and that's exactly the case here with the iphone 15 plus anyway i would love to hear your thoughts on what you think about the iphone i think android users can't really say that you know only customizations can be done on the android phones ios today is you know way way different from ios from before you can do a ton of customizations do all sorts of stuff you want with the software itself and i think that's also a very good move in that direction now with that said thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end like i said this is a casual conversation let me know your thoughts down below guys i really want to know what you think about the iphone 15 series don't forget to drop a like sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one do take care and stay safe bye bye